Two talents take shape, molded by desire to produce and create. The elements are there for them to understand, and therefore command. It is not the promise of rest that motivates them, but the promise of creation. And the constant thrill of accomplishment. It is victory. These are really good, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Where did you guys get muffins? I didn't see any in the lunch line. We got them from Joey's stand. He's selling them for 50 cents each. They're awesome. Here, try one. <laughs> mm. This is the most phenomenal muffin I've had in my entire life. I know, right? <laughs> Hi, Joey. Uh, yes? Are you still selling your muffins? Wait, you're, you're Angelica, aren't you? Oh, that's right. Hi, I'm Angelica Summers, head editor and reporter for the school newspaper. Didn't you write an article in the school paper how our school was being overrun with the evils of excessive commercialism? Oh, um... Didn't you also write a story about how sugary snacks, uh, like my muffins, for instance, were, um, hmm... How did you put it? A sign that our school's campus is being overrun with the evils of excessive consumption? In my defense, Look, I was... I love to sell muffins. I like to sell more, but... But? But what? I'm not sure if I should sell them to someone like you. Someone like me? A straight-A student who participates in after-school activities? That kind of person? Someone who opposes for what I stand for. It's just a muffin. It's my muffin. You know, I would love to do an article about them in a school paper to write all of my wrongs, but I'd need to have one first. Thanks, but no thanks. Didn't your parents ever teach you that sharing is caring? Sharing is a choice, and I'm not going to be bullied into it. You know, it'd be pretty terrible if you got some bad press over this. Stop. Look, I'm no stranger being pushed around. I'm not the athletic kid, I'm not the cool kid. I'm the weird kid who likes baking. Now, though, people actually like me for that. I can make them happy, and I'm not going to let someone push me around over this. Well, if you excuse me, I have a business to run. The Definition of a Hero by Angelica Summers the rise of heroic characters in our school has led to great works of justice, but just what defines a hero? Removing themselves from the confines of their current identity, they don a new one. They become a symbol of what they stand for. They experience clarity of purpose that comes from a dedication to something more than just themselves. Heroism has no place for selfish players. Does Superman take a paycheck every time he stops a speeding train? No. Does Wonder Woman demand compensation for saving the day? No, it's heroism. No, it's heroism that it makes, makes these figures help people, not the reward. Not the reward. So, can so can we call the Justice Defender a true hero? A hero is only as pure as the symbols they stand for. What kind of hero can you be? She wrote about me. She even mentioned me specifically. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Cool, I, I guess. It means she recognizes me. Maybe now the other kids will be inspired. She didn't exactly write like positive things about you, JD. She called you greedy for accepting no money. Oh, oh speaking of which. <sighs> You've earned it. Thanks to you, my sales are through the roof. I can't take this. Look, it's good to have your own ideals, but I have my own. I don't like having someone working for me, but I'm not paying. So if you're not gonna do it for your own sake, do it for my... What the f*** is this? I thought we had an understanding. What do you mean? The article you wrote didn't work. Now he's insisting on working for free. <sighs> Look, I'm not muscling some kid out of his lunch money, okay? I'm starting a process that will change the hearts and the minds of all of my readers. You deal with a, a child's physical pain? I deal with a fear that will go down to their very soul. Now don't you ever come in here and bark orders at me again. If I want you, I'll call for you. Now go. I have an article to write. 
I deal with a fear that will go down to their very soul. Now don't you ever come in here and bark orders at me again. If I want you, I'll call for you. Now go. I have an article to write. Dear Justice Defender, It has come to my attention that you have had a change of heart and have decided to use your skills as they were intended without a price tag. A few other students, along with myself, have been inspired by you and have decided to form the Student Citizens of the Future Society, or the SCFS. We would all be grateful if you could attend our first meeting tomorrow. The meeting's in room 303 at 2.30. We have a lot to discuss. Sincerely, Angelica Summers. He's late. He's probably busy defending all those stupid muffins. Am I late? Oh, Justice Defender, it's so great to finally meet a real hero. Come on and meet everybody. Well, I don't know if you're that great. Um, who are you? Who am I? That's funny coming from the one in the mask. What do you mean? I have friends that get bullied every day. She's right, you know. Your efforts are good towards those who need you, not the kid who sits on a pile of cash. How sage of you to say that. So what are you going to do? So, you're not working for me anymore then? I can still protect you from the bullies, but I have to help everyone else too. I see. You've been reading the paper, haven't you? I know you didn't come to these conclusions by yourself. It's not like Angelica was wrong or anything. Just because you're capable of something great, doesn't mean you should do it for free. Hey, no one's asking you to just give away your muffins. I wasn't talking about my muffins. Well, Connor, today's your payday. Joey is now without the defense of the Justice Defender. You can do anything you want, um, preferably in the mornings and not in front of others. At least try to be civil. Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> Want me to bring you back any muffins? No, thank you. <laughs> you sure? You did all of this for them. It's not about the muffins anymore. Now I have something even sweeter than muffins. Now, I have power. <laughs> Over the Justice Defender? He managed to take out you and your thugs with one punch. He's all I need. As long as I get my muffins. <laughs> then get your I'm muffins. Fine. There he is. Go get those muffins. Let him know the score is first. Give him a chance. Angelica wants to be so. Don't think of this as a punishment. Think of it as a public service. We're helping the people that don't take no for an answer. Hmm. Well, sorry guys. You overlooked one factor. Yeah, what's that? Me. Good morning, Angelica. Oh, good morning. Very nice article you wrote. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god! Who did this to you? He called himself a ghost. Oh. But I'm pretty sure he's a justice defender. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This is bad. This is, this is really bad. I, just, I don't know if I can control him anymore. Why? He's just doing the same thing he did before. Did he tie you up and leave you in an abandoned classroom before? No. He just kind of stood there while we walked away. I have to fix this. Get her to help you. Get her to plan and trick and scheme for you. 
You haven't noticed I do not help people like her. Angelica doesn't have your abilities! I thought heroes are supposed to be selfless! Not me. Not anymore. How can you be so cold? How cold is it me? You want to benefit from my effort, my risk, my time, and my life. With no cost of your own, what am I to you? Heartless! Call me what you want. Just stay out of my way. You are not worth my time. It didn't work. Oh, what a shame. And I thought you put up quite a good performance, too. Looks like you finally got some brains. <laughs> Dear readers, I come to you now to apologize. I assure you my intentions were pure. I only wanted to create an equal opportunity for all students to enjoy a simple snack. But it's not about the muffins anymore. Bring back the Golly, castle! I'm back! I can't believe this. I, 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 the Justice Defender, a student who used to do just what his title implied, has now become a ghost of his former self, his ideals and selflessness fading into apparitions alongside him. I say we tear his stand down! Yeah! Anyone else want to try anything reckless? The students of this school need to rise up and realize they don't need some ghost haunting them. We were perfectly self-reliant before, and we can reach that level again. Oh, so now your true colors show. There's something wrong with a little self-interest. And it would be both of our self-interests if you went back to being just another random student. So what do you say, Justice Defender? It's ghost now. You think a lame name change is going to make a difference? It does. You ruined the Justice Defender with your little puppet show. His image died in And with that, a new era was born in that school. An era of peace and truth, where students could walk through the halls unbullied, where equality rang through the halls like the late bell. All was well.